What is up everybody, Brandon SF101 here. As some of you guys may be aware, the Battlefield 2042 pre-trailer teaser has been dropped today and the full trailer for Hazard Zone is going to be revealed in only two days time. Now I've always been quite a big Battle Royale fan and I've been very very excited to find out some news about Hazard Zone. I'm sure you guys are as well and today we're going to be breaking down the little sneak peek trailer they've given us already and going through four specific frames that I want to talk about. Now I know a lot of people are speculating that this game will be around Escape from Tarkov and also I do believe this to be true as well. As it gets closer and closer to the trailer I believe more and more people are also believe in this and this post from Temporal it proves that even more. Now today he's put up a new post and I'm going to read it to you guys here, put it up on the screen as well. It says since the global blackout event satellite pods carrying their national secrets have continued to fall to earth. It's a scramble by everyone from the sovereign nations to recon groups to recover as many data drives as possible. Entering the hazard zone with large and small players alike is no small challenge. Gathering precious intel followed by successful extraction is a key mission in 2042. So I'm going to quickly go through these screenshots in order of which they appeared in the teaser and just to essentially get a bit of an idea of what they could mean and what they actually are. So the first one here, it looks like we've got a nightbird flying in and a guy jumping out, aiming his gun to the floor. Now I don't know what's underneath him, if it's just a shadow or if it's another person or something that he's jumping onto. From what I can see, it is a nightbird and a soldier jumping out of it. Now there's not much else to deduce from this image so we're going to move straight out to the second one. Now this second shot here is a little bit more juicy compared to the first one. Now going off what Temporal said, I'm going to go ahead and say that the orange smoke is an objective and I believe that the soldier is looking up in the sky at it so it may be that the satellite is falling out the sky and this will be the objective that all the teams will have to push to to obtain and then obviously the last team to get out of there with the objective will win. Now if that's true that will be pretty cool because yes it will be bringing an extra element to battle royales for example like Warzone if they had this element that would be pretty cool. All the teams would obviously have to push the objective before they can then win the game and escape. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it if all the teams get eliminated before the objective gets taken however I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now moving on to the third image, this is actually one of the harder ones to try and figure out what is quite going on here. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably something to do with the satellite that crashes. This may be part of the satellite or this may be some scrambled image of the satellite once it has crashed. But I'm going to go ahead and say that this is something to do with the satellite and where it has crashed in the game. If you guys have any ideas what this one could be, let me know down in the comments section as it is definitely an interesting one. And now moving on to the last image that we can see here. Now this is probably the clearest one out of all four of them. Now just looking at this image, there's a couple of things that are obviously very clear to us straight away. The first and probably most obvious thing being is the orange smoke. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this is definitely going to be marking an objective or something that we will have to do when we are playing Hazard Zone. This will probably be one of the locations where the satellite can crash and all the teams have to converge to try and capture the objective. The second obvious thing in the screenshot is the structure on the right hand side of the image. Now it's not quite clear what map this is from, obviously this is a structure from one of the maps which we'll be able to play, however I'm going to go ahead and say it's either going to be from Discarded or Manifest. Now both of these maps include like a harbour type location where a structure like this could actually exist. And to expand on this a little bit more, I've also been looking at a few comments from you guys in the Battlefield 2042 community. And a couple of you guys also think that 128 player maps are also big enough to host something like Hazard Zone with again 128 players or 150 players in, for example, a bit like Warzone. So it will be interesting to see if they do use the same maps as the large scale Conquest game modes and how many players will also be included in this. But guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys soon.